Hello everyone. In this video, I scientifically test the heart rate accuracy of the WHOOP strap. I'll test its overall accuracy during cardio workouts and weightlifting. And I will also compare if it matters if you wear the strap on your wrist or if you wear it on your biceps using the bicep band. In total, I tested the WHOOP strap's heart rate accuracy during 159 training sessions. As always, I do not want to waste your time, so timestamps are in the description below and also on the timeline. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Rob and I'm a postdoctoral scientist specializing in biological data analysis. Now, my channel is not so much about listing features. Instead, on my channel, I try to test the accuracy of different measurements. I've had the whoop strap now for over six months. In this video, we will explore how accurate the heart rate tracking of the whoop strap is, if it's better or worse during different workouts, and if it matters where exactly you wear the strap. Let's dive into the results. Let's start with the overall heart rate accuracy of the WHOOP strap. To test the heart rate accuracy, I will compare it against the Polar H10 ECG chest strap, which is generally considered to be one of the most accurate consumer devices available for heart rate measurements. I wore both the WHOOP strap and the Polar H10 ECG chest strap for 101 spinning sessions and 58 weightlifting sessions. That way I can check my heart rate at different heart rate ranges. Let's have a look at those results. Here I displayed an overview of the heart rate accuracy. Each dot is a single heart rate measurement with along the horizontal axis the value according to the Polar H10 ECG chest strap and along the vertical axis the value according to the WHOOP strap. The blue line indicates perfect agreement, so any measurement along this line had the same value for the Polar H10 and WHOOP strap. The red line indicates those measurements where the value according to the WHOOP strap is half that of the actual value according to the Polar H10. The reason I added this line is because in the past I've seen that many devices measure half the actual heart rate when they make a mistake. The more measurements there are in a certain area, the darker black the color. As you can see, overall there's a very good agreement between the WHOOP strap and the ECG chest strap, since most points are along the blue line. The correlation between the WHOOP strap and the ECG chest strap is about 0.96, which is pretty good. A perfect correlation would be 1, but this is already very close. However, we do see some deviations, especially in the medium heart rate ranges where the values are not along the blue line. Since the points are below the blue line, this means that the WHOOP strap detected a too low heart rate in these moments. Let's have a look at the spinning and the weightlifting separately to see which one of these is causing the main issues. These are the results for just the spinning sessions. And as you can see, the correlation is even better looking just at these sessions. Also, if we go back and forth between the two plots, you can see that this cloud here in the medium heart rate ranges that is not completely correct mostly disappears when we're just looking at the spinning sessions. This also seems to indicate that the performance of the whoop strap was less good during weightlifting. Let's take a look. This is now a similar plot, but now just for the weightlifting. And as you can see, the correlation between the ECG chest strap and the whoop strap is much lower than before. This is likely because during weightlifting, I flex the muscles and tendons in my arm, and this makes it difficult for the strap to accurately detect the sudden changes in my heart rate that go with each set I do. Let's have a look at the individual training sessions to see what this actually looks like. And we're starting off with the spinning workouts. I took a few random examples, and here we see the first one. Along the horizontal axis we have the time, and my heart rate is along the vertical axis. In red I plotted my heart rate according to the Polar H10 ECG chest strap, and in blue is my heart rate according to the WHOOP strap. As you can see, I took three short breaks in the spinning session where my heart rate would dip. For this spinning session we see the agreement is pretty good. The blue line almost perfectly overlaps the red line, except for at the start of two of the segments, right here and right here. In this next spinning session we again see a general agreement, however at the higher heart rate moments we do sometimes see that the whoop strap has a slightly lower value. This session here agrees almost perfectly again, this one here as well. The same goes for most of the following ones, except for this slight problem at the higher heart rates. We see the same for this one here, 
and occasionally we see no problems popping up like here and other times we do see some of these problems where the heart rate will dip in the moment I have a higher heart rate. However, overall, this does not appear to be a major issue. Now I wanna have a look at weightlifting, where before in the overview we saw, the agreement between the ECG chest strap and the whoop strap is not as good as for spinning. In red, you can see how my heart rate increases during each set I did according to the Polar H10, but we can see that the whoop strap cannot keep up with these increases in my heart rate. This is most likely due to the tension my muscles are under during weightlifting. This makes it much more difficult for the optical sensor to pick up on my heart rate. You can see something similar for this training session here. This one here is a bit better, at least for the first half of the training, so it might also depend on which muscle groups are involved. The same goes for this session here. Here the deviation is a bit bigger again, and we see the same for this one here. So based on this, I would conclude that during my cardio exercises, the whoop strap works really well. However, during weightlifting it struggles and it can't really keep up with the increases in heart rate that accompany each set I do. Question is, does the quality of the heart rate monitor differ depending on where exactly you wear the whoop strap? However, first a quick side note. If you're interested in the latest updates on the wearables I'm testing, consider subscribing to my Instagram and my weekly newsletter. Of course, you would also make me really happy if you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Enough self-promotion, let's dive into those results. I started off wearing the whoop strap on my wrist, similar to where you would wear a smartwatch, or to be precise, slightly higher than where I would normally wear a smartwatch. This is slightly higher than is recommended, however I had to do this because I want to test the whoop strap for a full year daily. This is not feasible unless I leave space on my wrist for the other watches I'm testing. Now I don't think this makes much of a difference, since problems mainly arise when you wear it on your wrist bone, and not when you move it further away. After a while, I bought one of these biceps bands that Whoop sells, which for me made it much easier to wear on a daily basis. This is very similar to where I for instance wear the Verity Sands made by Polar. Let's have a look if there's any differences in the accuracy between the two positions. Here I plotted the overall heart rate accuracy for the Whoop strap worn on my forearm on the left and for my biceps on the right. As you can see, the results are slightly better when I wore the whoop strap on my biceps, especially the points that are below the blue line in the higher heart rate range when I wear the whoop strap on my wrist are no longer there when I wear the whoop strap on my biceps. This indicates that my whoop strap made fewer mistakes in the higher heart rate range when I wore it on my biceps. I can actually calculate if the whoop strap performs significantly better on my biceps than on my forearm. And if I do that, I get something which is called a p-value. Now the lower the p-value the better, and in this case the p-value is extremely small. In this case it is 0 0.000000000000001, which is very small. Now in the end this just means that the whoop strap for me performs significantly better on the biceps than on the forearm. And we can see this even more clearly when we just look at the spinning sessions. And this is displayed right here. So these are just the measurements for the spinning sessions. In this plot, it is very clear that there are many more points below the blue line in the left plot, so when I wore it on my forearm, than on the right plot, where I wore it on my biceps. The p-value is just as significant as before. It's actually likely more significant, but this goes beyond the accuracy of the test. Let's see what this actually looks like when we consider the individual spinning sessions. These are some example sessions for the heart rate accuracy when I was wearing the whoop strap on my forearm. As you can see, the measurements mostly agree. However, at the higher heart rate ranges, we see these problems that we saw before. You can see something similar here for this training session. The same goes for this session. This session is actually a lot better, but still has some minor issues. This one again has some of these issues in the higher heart rate ranges. And you can see the same thing right here. And finally also here. Instead, if we look at how the whoop strap performed when I was wearing it on my biceps, it performs almost perfectly. With that I mean, the values according to the Polar H10 chest strap and the whoop strap overlap almost perfectly. And that's also what you can see in this spinning session. Also here, only here it had some minor difficulties. But here again the agreement is almost perfect, and during this session as well. And the same is true for almost all the spinning sessions. Finally, let's check what this looks like when we consider the weightlifting sessions. The overview plots of that are displayed here. On the left is the accuracy for the weightlifting when wearing the whoop strap on the forearm and on the right for the biceps. As you can see, the two look very similar and the correlations are also almost exactly the same. 
it actually even performs a tiny bit better on the forearm. We can also calculate the significance for this difference and it is actually significantly better on the forearm than on the biceps when doing weightlifting. However, given the small difference in correlation, I would say that this is not a real world consequence and basically it performs equally well on both positions during weightlifting. Overall, I would say that the whoop strap performs pretty well compared to the competition, at least when it comes to heart rate accuracy. Especially during my cardio workouts, it performed really well. During weightlifting, it struggled though, but this is true for almost all of the optical wearables I've tested so far. Only the Apple Watch has been really good under all circumstances. During cardio, wearing the whoop strap on the biceps performs significantly better than wearing it on the forearm or wrist. The question is still if this would warrant you buying the bicep band. I think the difference is small enough that for most people, the most important thing to consider is what you find most comfortable. Would I recommend you buy the whoop strap? Well, if you're purely concerned with heart rate accuracy, then it performs well and you could consider buying it. However, I still need to test the sleep tracking accuracy. If you're purely interested in heart rate, then an ECG chest strap like for instance the Polar H10 is probably a better choice. Or if you want a wrist worn device, the Apple Watch 6 is amazing as well. Additionally, there are some issues I have with the Whoop strap. First of all, Whoop is a subscription service. You pay $30 per month for a minimum of 6 months to get the strap and access to the app. This is quite a lot of money and once you stop paying, the strap itself becomes completely useless since you no longer have access to the app. You have to ask yourself if a one-time payment for for instance a Garmin, Polar or Huawei watch might make more sense if you plan on using it for several years. I personally feel that 30 bucks per month is quite a lot of money. The other one frustrating and important thing I want to mention, I've been trying to make this and other videos on the Whoop strap for several months now. However, so far this has been impossible, since Whoop makes it extremely difficult to get access to your own data. I've been literally emailing with customer service for 5 months now, trying to get the right data. However, their responses are generally very slow, if I even get a response. Now when I do get a response, they're very kind, however they often do not live up to their promises. I should have more easy access to my own data. Other companies can also do it, Fitbit can do it, even Huawei can do it, so why can't Whoop do it? Now I finally got the heart rate data for this video a few weeks ago, but I'm still waiting on the sleep data, so I can do a more detailed sleep tracking test. If you're interested in this, consider subscribing to my channel. I also made a first video on the sleep tracking of the whoop strap a few months ago, which I'll link above. Finally, I should mention some of the limitations of the data that I showed here. First of all, I just tested the whoop strap on me and it will be interesting to see how it performs on others. Second, as I mentioned, the position of the whoop strap on my forearm was not ideal and slightly higher than recommended, though I expect this does not make any difference. In my videos, I do scientific tests on different devices like the Aura Ring, the Fitbit and the ScanWatch. And in the end, I hope to use tracking to improve my life. So if you like that subject and like this video, consider subscribing to my channel and also consider giving it a thumbs up because it makes it easier for other people to find my videos. Thank you so much for watching and consider watching some of my other videos.